Hey guys, it's Frank from Woodsman Adventures. This morning we're going to be doing a initial opening, well, unbox and initial review of the Joy Titus 50 liter refrigerator freezer. As you know, if you've been watching my videos, I also have the 25 liter that I've been using for quite a while. Absolutely love it. We use it in the Jeep everywhere we go. Well, yesterday we was gone all day off out in the Arkansas mountains. Kept all of our drinks super cold and it's just, it's a super thing to have. This is just a larger version, so if we're going on a big trip like we plan to go to Colorado, we'll have plenty of room to carry a lot more food. And as the other one is too, this is also a freezer or refrigerator, depends on how you use it. This one actually has two compartments where you can freeze and have some stuff refrigerated at the same time. It does say F40C4TMP, which is still Joy Tutus. It's just a different name, but this is a Joy Tutus 50 liter, and I'll be posting the link in the description below to this. So let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed so we can check out and see what it looks like. Okay, here we are unboxed. Right here is the compressor unit. You can see the vents right here for the compressor. It's actually on both sides. And this actually is a compressor in here. It's actually just like a big refrigerator, only small, made to draw very little current for camping, hunting, you know, overlanding, uh, 50 liters. And right here is our fuse and where we plug in the power so I'll zoom up on this a little bit and show you what this looks like all right right here on this end we have the 15 amp fuse this is just a flat automotive fuse so if you have some extra fuses with you and just in case you need it I've never needed one on my other one and I wouldn't think you would need one but it never hurts to carry a spare over here we have the 12 volt DC 24 volt input which we have the 12 volt plug we also have the 110 plug that comes with it that converts it to 12 to 24 volt. Over here we have the switch. This is uh, low, medium, high, the battery protection mode. So on vehicles you would probably want to run it in medium to high. Just move the switch down. And if you run it off solar, you could run it onto the low. And over here we have your battery protection chart. So you can check this out and look at your voltage before high, medium, and low has the switch on and switch off uh, voltages. So you want to Pay attention to that and determine where you want to set it but like I say on the vehicle battery on mine I run it on medium or high okay on top here has a nice place where you could actually set things you can set some cups in here they're not very deep so I mean it gives you a place to set some drinks if you wanted to use it I wouldn't set on this unit itself but you could set uh, drinks on here and the night it says have a good handle here to pull up you can see this logo this is the F40 C4 TMP uh, logo, but the Joy Tetris, the only difference in the two coolers is this logo will say Joy Tetris, but they are the identical cooler. So I'll put a link to both of them below where you could check them out. And maybe if what maybe the Joy Tetris is out of stock, maybe this one would be in stock and you can pick up either one. But if you pull this handle, if you push your thumb here, this just pivots and it actually locks extremely good and it has a nice rubber seal on the bottom to seal has this chain to hold the door from falling back too far and tearing it up and then inside it has a, a nice basket with a partition that you can take out to take your stuff out and put your stuff in if you want to use this you actually wouldn't have to use this and of course inside here we have the box with the power accessories in it so we will open this up I should say the power accessories and the handles that go on the side. There's the 12 volt. There's the uh, owner's manual, user manual. So what we have here is the bag with the handles in them. Also a, a wrench to put the handles on with. So we need to go ahead and put those handles on so that we get all this opened up. This is our 12 to 24 volt accessory outlet. You can plug this in. It's got a real good plug, just like the other one had, my, my 25 liter. And then this will plug into the side of the fridge itself. Inside here, we have the 110 volt plug. So we will plug in this to 110. This just plugs right into here. And then this will plug into the fridge itself, just like the 12-volt does. 
The instruction manual is actually, if it's like my other one, it's actually fairly decent. It's not, uh, it tells you pretty much everything that you need to know. Okay, as you can see on the inside, we have an aluminum, kind of like uh, some of the older refrigerators has. has this uh, orange peel textured aluminum. And then down inside is a plastic with a couple spots where I guess you could set something. But nice bottom in it, nice big compartment here. And then over here we have a compartment that's also fairly deep. And this is the refrigeration compartment. So we have a ref freezer department, refrigeration. Now, I say this, but you can turn this right area here. Don't turn it down so cold, and you can use this just as a refrigerator, just like this. So it is a freezer here, refrigerator here. And most time, I'll be using the whole thing as a refrigerator, not a freezer. I don't usually take things that I have to freeze. We just usually take things that we want to keep cool. So we'll use this whole thing as a refrigerator and not turn it down so low that it's actually a freezer. Over here is the LED light that whenever we power it up you'll be able to see it lit up but it has a button here so when you close the door this will actually turn off the LED light on when the button's up if your door is open. So that's a nice touch to have the light in here where you can see at nighttime out on the trail somewhere you need to be able to see what's in here. Also comes with a chart over here that tells you temperatures of what you might want to keep food so you can see here, meat, zero degrees, frozen food, zero degrees, which meat would be frozen food. You don't have to freeze it. If you don't want to freeze it, you can set things down like seafood. See it says 26 degrees Fahrenheit. It has Celsius over here, Fahrenheit over here. And then also uh, cooked food. You can, you can actually use this thing to heat to keep things warm. So you can see 55 degrees is the, you can run it up to 55 degrees. That's actually pretty warm. Uh, soft drinks 46 to 50 not me I want my soft drinks I want them to do down canned drinks I want them all down to about 31 degrees 32 right when they're at the freezing point and we use this on the 25 liter we have we keep our drinks right down to where they just got ice crystals floating in them so when you take a drink out and it's hot in the summer it's super nice and cold so pretty nice to have this on here also up here has the model number seal number uh, all the all your specs up here 12 24 volts 60 watt and rated current 3.7 amp okay now we'll go ahead and close this thing down and go ahead and install the handles on it okay installing this basket back down in there just slides right down in there it's got a nice hook where it sits over this also sits flat on the bottom anyway and it does have this divider that you can take out because you may you may have bigger contents than would fit in each spot so you could actually just take this divider plumb out and have it fully open which is probably what I will do most time anyway I probably won't use the divider much but it does have the option that you can do that which is a nice touch and of course you may have a, a lot of weight in here you could actually take have your stuff in here refrigerated you can pull this basket out with your stuff uh, your drinks and things pull it out and set it in your big refrigerator or freezer if you have a big deep freeze at home or a freezer you can have your stuff that's frozen in here and set it right down inside here take it out pull it put it in your big freezer at home all right so we have our handles here take them out of the bag dump all the parts out and I'm sure yes it does have instructions to show you how they go so it looks pretty simple and one cool thing is it does come with an allen wrench to put it on with how cool is that it's actually a good allen wrench you can save to use for other things and then it also has these handles are actually uh, steel tubing so you can see on the fridge itself where they go we'll remove all four of these because the handles will bolt onto these we'll do this side then all you have to do is repeat it the same step on the other side all right so on the fridge itself we'll go ahead and take these allen bolts out Okay, the handles are pretty simple actually you can see we have the two holes here to mount them this side is where your handle steel handle will go in so you want that to the inside on both of them 
This is actually nice and spring loaded. It's actually a strong spring. So we're going to bolt these on. Bolt this one on, put our handle in, put the other side on. So you want to tighten these down snug, but you don't want to tighten them so that tight down that you tear something up. Just run them down where they're nice and snug. And then our handle has a split in it. So when you line it up in here, it don't spin. It only sets one direction just like that right there. Now we put the other side on there. So what we want to do here is go ahead and slide our handle onto it like that. We'll take our screw with our Allen wrench that's supplied. Nice T handle and put the screws on this side. Okay, there we have it installed. It's nice and spring loaded. This is actually some pretty hefty strong springs, which is nice because it keeps this thing folded down. And when you're hauling in your vehicle or whatever, them handles won't be flapping around, banging around. They're gonna be nice and down solid against the side of the cooler. So a real nice touch. It also comes with these rubber plugs that you'll put in these holes, just basically for cosmetics. Make it look good. So it comes with eight of those, four for each end. Okay, now the handle's installed. All you gotta do is repeat the process on the other side. Now we'll go through some of the other features. Okay guys, just for purposes of this video, we'll go ahead and plug this thing into the Jackery 500. The Jackery 500 will run uh, 110 volt or 12 volt, so that way I can test it on both. And we'll go ahead and plug this into the unit itself. Plug the AC 110 volt in here, and then turn on our AC button on the Jackery. Okay, now we'll just go ahead and try the uh, 12 volt plug. So we'll unplug the 110 adapter, plug in the 12 volt DC, plug it into the jackery, we'll turn the DC on. So now we're running it off 12 volts, it's actually not turned on yet, we'll go to the controls up there and turn it on. Okay, with the unit plugged in you can see that it's lit up here in the display. If you hold this button down for 3 seconds, it will come on. You can see that it's 77 degrees inside here right now. This thing is actually already set to Fahrenheit, but you can set this by holding the two buttons. You can set it to Celsius if that's what you like. Uh, here in the United States, we use Fahrenheit. So we can also change this from Eco. And we're on Eco mode, or you can hold this, turn it back to white. It's going to be on Max mode. And then uh, we can change the temperature inside up and down. Right now we're showing the temperature inside. Our set temperature, as soon as we touch this, we'll show our set temperature. So you can see we're at 28. I will set it to about 30. And the compressor should kick on here pretty quick. There, I can feel it. You, you can't hear it. It's so quiet. Maybe you can hear it. There's a lot of birds out here this morning. I'm outside because it's a nice morning and good light. So I've done this video outside and you can hear the birds. But you can hear the fan. It's actually extremely quiet. That's really nice. So pretty basic the settings. I mean that's all there is to it. You can you can set it on eco or max. You can turn it off and on. You can also uh, change your set temperature with these buttons. Right now we're displaying the temperature inside. So keep an eye on this. This will start dropping the longer we run it. And then uh, like I said, you just touch these up and down. Automatically goes to your set temperature. And this will actually go down to I believe minus four. which is plenty code to freeze just about anything you want. There we go, there's the bottom, minus four degrees, so that would be extremely cold. We'll crank it back up, we don't need it down to minus four right now, we're just gonna set it to about 30. Let's go up to the top, see how high it goes. Okay, so 50 is the height limit. 
So that's actually pretty warm. If you want to just keep stuff warm but and not use stuff cold, you could actually set it to 50 degrees. We're going to set it on down here to 30. Just for testing purposes. And I'm going to go ahead and put some stuff in here and run this thing and do a test on it. We'll do that in a little bit. Okay, there we got it running. You can see that we're drawing 43, 42 watts. It was 40, so it's going to be drawing around in that area when you're running the 12 volt uh, outlet. It will be when you run 110, it will actually draw a little bit more. So if you run it off a battery pack, I would advise that you run it off the 12 volt DC socket and you'll save a lot of energy on your battery backup. Okay, guys, I want to go ahead and turn this thing on. I got a timer here set and I wanted to see how long it takes to get from the temperature it is now inside down to minus four, which is the lowest setting on here. So make sure we are. Yeah, we're on minus four now. And the temperature inside is 61. So we're going to go ahead and see how long this thing takes to get down to minus four. Waiting for the compressor to kick in. Let's go ahead and put this thing on. Make sure it's on max, which it is. Okay, now our compressor kicked on. Start the timer. We're going to see how long it gets, takes to get from 61 to minus 4. Okay, I thought I'd do an update on this. Looks like we've been about 32 minutes going on here. And we're at 24 degrees. So we'll check back here in a little bit and see how much the temperature drops. Okay, second update. We are at 1 hour and 2 minutes. And it's at 3 degrees. So not too far to go. We'll see how much longer it takes to get to minus 4. Okay, we are at minus three. Whoop, just turned to minus four, so that's all the way down. At one hour and twenty-three minutes, so that is pretty good. Didn't take long at all. Let's open it up and check inside. Hey, you see the LED like I'm on. See the frost in here. Yeah, it's actually extremely cold. There's the LED light, the button turns it off and on. Okay guys, I just kind of wanted to show about what it would hold. You could actually fill this up more because you can fill it up pretty much to the top of this. About to the top of this would be about as high as you could go. So there could be more here. There could be more here depending on what you put in there, how you can put it. So we got some okra in here. Got some strawberries and bananas. This is all frozen stuff in the freezer part. And then we got some water over here. We got some broccoli, mixed vegetables, a big bag of shrimp a big thing of bacon so this is a lot this is a three pound of bacon here we got some mixed vegetables we even got a roast in here check it out a whole eight pack of corn on the cobs right there got a pack of hot dogs got my name on it and we even got ice cream can you imagine going out off-roading or back off out somewhere and you can take some ice cream with you and keep you some ice cream That would be really nice when it's hot, especially out in the desert On this side we have eight bottles of water and you could actually probably lay a couple on top here But now if you wouldn't use the freezer portion here to freeze Then you can go ahead and put everything you want to keep cool. You If you just want to carry drinks you can put a whole lot of drinks in here And you could actually leave your stuff inside here Pull this basket out with everything in it put in your freezer okay that guys that's it for the first initial setup and review of the joy Tutus 50l 53 quart refrigerator freezer uh, I will also be doing more tests of this later I'm gonna be going on a big Colorado trip so we're gonna take this with us we're gonna pack it down with our meats and our drinks and stuff to take it on our trip and we'll be doing a, a lot more tests of this and another review later and I'll also do a comparison between it and the 25 liter I'll put a link to this and I'll also put a link to the 25 liter Joy Tutus. They also make one that's in between this, I believe it's 40 liter. That's in, if you don't want a 25, if you don't want the 50, they make a 40 that's right in between it, Joy Tutus does. So I'll put a link to all that in the description below so you can check it out on my Amazon store. And as I said, I actually purchased this. Joy Tutus did not give this to me. So this is this review is my own. Uh, check out the links, click the thumbs up. Subscribe, catch y'all on the next one. Right on.